the first of probably a hundred times between now and you know you make a decision. Quarterbacks, any separation between the two? It'd be hard for me to tell you because we're you know, although we're allowed to work with them a little bit in the summer, we're not really allowed to work with them with the football. And at that position, until you see them go out there and operate the team and run the plays and deliver the football, you know, make great decisions, that, that would be really ultimately what's going to make the decision. So I don't think so. I think it's going to be, you know, a week to a little longer than that into, into training camp, and we'll have a pretty good idea. I, I will say this, and I'll probably end up saying this a little bit tomorrow too. Uh, what's just as important as, as all of those things is, is winning the team in the lockdown. You know, I, I think ultimately somebody's going to emerge. And it doesn't mean the other person will go away because they'll be vital to the, to the program also. But I do think whoever ultimately becomes a starting quarterback has to, has to win the team in that locker room. Any, any different feeling being here the second year? I mean, there's no longer the idea that you're a curiosity, that you're not the new guy. I mean, does it feel any different? Well, for the first time in three years, we kind of get to be with the same group of people. Yeah. You know, we went from one conference to another conference to the Big Ten. And, and now to be able to come back, and there's a, there's a certain degree of comfort. And absolutely. There's, a, there's definitely a a feeling of comfort knowing the routine, although the routine's changed a little bit this year. They did change the format slightly, um, but having an idea of, of what it's going to be like, having teams on your schedule that you've played, I, I think that, that definitely lends itself to a little bit more comfort. You have me here wrong, but is, is there also a sense that I mean, it was a very good year for the Big Ten overall, national champion, a lot of big bowl wins. And is there you sense a little bit more swagger in the league? Or you, you just... The fans may feel that way. I, I think as football coaches, we don't get caught up in that. You know, we've got so much work to do in the next four weeks of training camp, and then ultimately we'll get to game weeks and we'll take them all individually and try to be one and zero. I don't think, you know, that, those are kind of things that that I hear. And again, I think the media, the fans, they, they get more involved in that. I think uh, than the football coaches will. To follow up to Sarge's question on the quarterbacks, you've always been, even with Gary and Chase, your first year, a one quarterback. Whoever wins the battle is the quarterback. The ups and downs. Do you see yourself staying that way, or with two guys who are less experienced than Chase and Gary were, or Gary and everybody else was last year, would you be more willing to play two guys, that kind of thing? Here's what I've, I've said in the past, and I do feel this way. What I think is important is that ultimately whoever you decide is your starting quarterback, you have to give them a, an opportunity to grow in that position. I don't think it's healthy for, for a person at any position, but more so at quarterback than any other because of the scrutiny that's involved with that position but to be looking over your shoulder all the time. So uh, whoever ultimately becomes a starting quarterback, I don't want them to feel like if they make a mistake, then we're going to put somebody else in. That, you know, that's not going to be the situation. We're going to give them an opportunity. You know, what that opportunity ultimately is, that, you know, that can change year to year, but they're going to certainly going to get a significant opportunity. And kind of a follow-up to Steve's question is last year, you, certainly the players, to a degree, had a chip on their shoulder about coming in here, proving something, having something to prove. Do you feel that intensity or motivation is still the same year two after having a really good year and proving something? Same kind of attitude? I think you got to ask them that. I wouldn't want to speak for them you know, when it comes to those type of things. I don't feel like that. That's never been what I've needed to motivate me, but, but, uh, but I did hear the players say those kind of things last year, so I, I know how you feel. Um, I heard another coach in another conference say this on the radio when I was driving around last week. And I thought it was great. You know, every year, you're either trying to prove somebody right or prove somebody wrong. You know, right now, for, for our program, you know, I guess from what I've seen in, in terms of predictions, we're going to try to prove a lot of people wrong this year. And, and that's fun. You know, I think there's some fun to that. Uh, middle linebacker, what are you hoping to get out of Kawan Lewis because his arrival was so late? And what did you like about Isaiah Johnson this spring? All I want, all I want Kawan Lewis to do is come here and be a great teammate and work every day to be a better football player. Uh, ultimately, where that puts him on the depth chart, you know, we'll figure that all out you know, as we get into training camp. Um, Isaiah Johnson, I thought, did a nice job in the spring learning the system, uh, fitting in in terms of how we play, how we run to the ball, uh, the, the, the swarm that we play with on defense. So uh, that was exciting to see that. Now, you know, just like everybody else in the program, I'm curious to see what he's done between the end and training camp. Um, Kawan's played a little bit more football, so he'll bring a little bit more experience to the table.